So it's been a bit here. So what's happening? Am I building trikes or what? Well, actually I'm not. I, uh, two weeks ago, about approximately, I shipped out the last bikes for the year. And the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, played golf and uh, got some stuff done. I started working on my camper. I uh, replaced the brake pads, the magnetic pucks, I guess, on one side. And I switched out the rims with some custom wheels. And then the weather went down the turlet. So we're just coming out of it now. Uh, we had some nasty weather, a bunch of snow and ice and typical wintry things. And uh, everything kind of came to a halt. So I've been kind of scrounging up uh, materials here. I'm rewiring the shop here a little bit. I'm putting in a uh, uh, 240 volt line that stretches across to the front door so I can plug my my brand new uh, electric car in. I got a different electric car, which I had mentioned. I think in the last video I got rid of my Leaf and I bought a uh, Bolt, which I'm really, really liking. I'm really liking it a lot. Um, so I've been driving that pretty steady, getting used to it, and I'm finding out I'm putting on a lot more miles than I would otherwise. I mean, it's crazy. Um, because it's so cheap to drive, I can drive to Rochester and back, which is a 165 mile round trip for about seven bucks. You know, so driving to Menards, which is like 30 miles away, if I can get something there that I could probably get in town here, but it costs 10 bucks more, I'll just drive over there and get it. So it's fun. So anyway, I'm kind of working on that. That's one thing. And uh, got my step ladder out here because I'm stringing the wire across the ceiling. I got one light fixture that I need to replace yet. Uh, three of them are LED and one of them is still the old uh, the fluorescence. So I'm going to get rid of that guy and uh, clean up the shop. You know, now that there's no bikes in here and I'm looking around, everything looks kind of grungy. So I'm going to spend some time in here cleaning this mess up. But it is uh, Easter Saturday, so I'm not going to really do anything until probably next Monday, Tuesday, I'll do some stuff in here. The golf course doesn't open until Thursday, so I'll have to do constructive work. So I want to get my camper done. That's priority out there. And uh, then I got new suspension for my Cadillac. We're going to see if we can make it not ride like a gravel truck. And I got another bag of uh, these magic balancing beads. Got these in. I had ordered some and they weren't coming, so I ordered another batch. Well, then they all showed up. So this one here is Magnum. And this one here is, I got two packs of these, which are counteract automatic tire balancing doohickeys. Oh, I guess I only got one bag of those. So I got one bag of each. So here's what I'm going to do. And uh, this will be a project for next week. So you look forward to this coming up next week. I'm going to, I've got one wheel here that's out of balance by about an ounce, which is a lot. And I'm going to make sure that it does shake when I put it on my bike. So we're going to test that to make sure that it is definitely out of balance. Then we're going to put in the recommended uh, quantity of these beads. And uh, I'll run it on the balancing machine just to see how it reacts. I'm guessing it's not going to work well on the balancing machine. But then we'll put it on the bike and give it a test run. And if it works, then I'll say it works. If it doesn't, I'll say why it doesn't. And uh, we'll run it through a bunch of tests and stuff and uh, just see how it reacts. So that'll be kind of an interesting little project. I did change... Um, the camber, and I think I mentioned this in the last video, on my bike, although I didn't get a chance to report on what changed because the weather turned nasty and I just drove from here to my house and that was it. Uh, but I could tell there's differences. It does steer lighter, but I don't know anything beyond that. I just know it seems to steer uh, actually quite a bit easier. Uh, 
and it kind of fulfills a mystery that I had or solves a mystery that I had going on where every single bike that I build seemed to drive better than my own. And I'm thinking, why is mine the one that doesn't handle quite as well as everybody else's? Mine uh, steered a little harder and that kind of thing. Well, now it's just like a normal build because I've got the camber set correctly. And uh, the reason it was off is because I use basically the rejected parts. I keep those for my own stuff. I use all the rejected parts for uh, or the things that don't quite pass the muster. Uh, I'll put it on mine because I can adjust and I can fix and all that and I don't have to, uh, you know, worry about distances. You know, that's the problem when I work with customers, they're usually at quite a distance away. Well, you want to make sure they don't have trouble. So I'm not going to use a part that doesn't pass on somebody's bike. I'll use it on my own because worst case, I throw it away and I build a new one. So anyway, gosh, other than that, I don't know what to report on here, uh, you know, because it's been kind of limbo here and I've been kind of busy doing other stuff and we got the grandkids came over for a while and that kind of thing. So, you know, it's just normal life, you know, life is just always there, but uh, things are going good. Probably Monday, well, tomorrow's Easter Sunday, so probably Monday or Tuesday, depending which day is better, we will do the road test on the magic balancing beads and see if, if they are indeed magic or if they're uh, just a bunch of reptile lubricant. So stay tuned. Oh, and I have an important announcement. Uh, I do have a customer and this happens, I'm getting this about every year now, where one of my customers can no longer ride. And, uh, you know, most of my customers are like me and, uh, you know, you only have so much time left and uh, help things crop up and I don't ask questions. I just know people will contact me and say, you know, I got to sell my trike because uh, I can no longer, you know, ride. Uh, or my condition that, you know, a lot, a lot of people had pre-existing conditions and they said my conditions have worsened to the point where, you know, I have to do something. So I do have one bike that is uh, just come up for sale and the gentleman lives in Florida. His name is Dan Marvel. And I, I posted on my webpage and the, the completed trikes I just posted this morning. And on the Endeavor Trikes message board, I put um, a notation on there also with some pictures. It's a custom paint job. This is a three color paint job on this one and uh, It's it's a Pretty custom looking bike. It's a 2016 gold ring with only 40,000 miles basically a brand new bike Brand new build uh, that was, this one was done in 2020 and I don't think he put too many miles on it I think it had 38,000 maybe something 30,000 something when when I got the bike to convert and uh, it's only got 40,000 miles on it now so it'd be a good buy for somebody if you know somebody who is interested in uh, going with the sport trike they could snatch it up real quick like um, I don't know exactly what he's asking for it but I do have his email posted and uh, just contact him I don't have anything to do with it I don't collect royalties or anything. If someone contacts me and they want to sell their bike, I'll help them however I can. And uh, they can someday buy me a McDonald's McMuffin. So anyway, uh, check it out. It's a nice bike. And uh, I'll put a link in the description of this video to the Endeavor Trikes uh, Pro Board and to my webpage and the direct link to his listing. So do that for old Dan. Okay, we'll talk to you next week.